G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. A lovely sunny day here. The temperatures forecast for about 32 degrees centigrade. So, rightfully so, I've stopped here in the shade to show you this. This is the Savota MPP foam mat. And it's like a little sit pad, a knee pad. You can use it for your mouse if you want to. The general rule is to try and keep your ass clean and dry or your knees when I mean, you're doing your bushcraft like I said. It's not the thickest as you can see here. Size wise, the easiest way of putting it is an average ass would be fairly comfortable on it with a little bit of overhang. So the size is 35.5 centimeters by 25 centimeters by 6 mil. Now, I've had this for just over a year now. I bought it when I bought my uh, Yakri small. Because this can be used, drop it into the uh, hydration pocket in the Yakri small, and it helps give it a little bit more rigidity in your pack, and it protects your back from anything in your pack that's got anything that might be sticking in. Because the Yakri small, as you can see, I'll show you, has really just got a a little bit of padding, just a couple of layers going down the back there and when it goes in there it's just going to give you a bit of protection. Now, I am going to do another video about the Yakri Small soon so keep an eye out for that. Weight 165 grams in weight so throwing that in your day pack if you're a hiker or your multi-day pack or if you're a bushcrafter that's going to be very little weight probably won't even notice that extra weight in there material is 1000D Cordura and it's a 6mm closed cell foam natural rubber fabric so you can feel it, give it a squeeze in there it's not going to be as comfortable as some of these uh, thicker hiking ones but it's going to be more comfortable than sitting straight in a log like this one here and it's going to keep your bum dry and on the back here we've got a anti-slip material on it which works I haven't had it slide away from me yet so hopefully hopefully it doesn't what else is on here color options at the moment just OD green as far as I know which is still a nice color it matches the pack it said the underside yep water resistant surface layer which is made of natural rubber fabric that keeps it from sliding on any surface it says so that's my cheat sheet down there finished with that now material wise the quality is really nice I don't know if you can see that with the camera if it's going to focus properly stitching is really good they take pride in their work Savata do and this one was Sumi in Finland it doesn't say where it was made but theirs are all made in Finland all their gear in their own factories so they're not shipped out abroad and yeah their quality control is very high with the standards let's quickly show you it in the back of the pack this is the Savota Yakri small pack and the hydration pockets inside here so I'll lay that down make it easier and push that in uh, as you can see there that fits in the pocket just nice yeah hydration bladder can still fit in front and as you look to hold it now the advantage of having that in this pack it gives you extra protection on the, your back because this is just a day pack really or a little brushcraft if you're going out for the day or a quick overnighter so it's nothing fancy just strong really decent but with that inside it's going to give me extra protection it's going to give the pack a bit of rigidity to make that easier and more comfortable to carry so that's the Savata MPP foam mat is that what they call it? yeah the MPP foam mat and this was January, February, March, April 2020 this one was made and it's still in pretty good condition looks nearly new still so I hope you've enjoyed the video and it's just given you a basic idea about getting the SPP or MPP mat 
response to water. It is comfortable. So let's sit down now. And there you are. So if you've enjoyed this video, that's better. So if you've enjoyed this video and you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much. And if you're not a subscriber yet, please go down below, click on the subscribe button, click on the notification bell next to it so you can be notified of all upcoming videos and click the like button, the thumbs up. So until next time, get out there, have some fun and take care.